Harris even thought she was going to get a get free flea ride by the Democratic Party for her thoughts about going to the border, she got one thing coming. Let's talk about it. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please do click subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Make sure you click all when you click the bell because it has like options that says all personalized and none. Please click all. Please do subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Patreon.com forward slash JOA, JOA. I got numerous clips to show you out throughout this video, so please watch the whole thing. Um, I did announce my previous video that I have a live stream interview tonight. It's live stream interview. I'm saying it multiple times because people in the comments are going to be like what it's a live stream interview at 7 p.m central standard time uh with my palestinian sister she's an actress um a comedian her name is jennifer jaje uh and i believe she has shows coming up because the pandemic is is you know opening up for entertainers to go out now and tour and so she's going to be on explaining her career uh, talking about palestinian history uh and her um dealings with living over there for over a year and a half a lot of you guys have been interested in knowing about palestine so uh please do tune in today at 7 p.m cst that's a live stream today all right so i want to play <laughs> i want to play clips of kamala harris just basically getting defensive about a border question and then i'm gonna come back with some more i want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Do not come. The United States will continue to enforce our laws and secure our border. There are legal methods by which migration can and should occur. But we, as one of our priorities, will discourage illegal migration. And I believe if you come to our border, you will be turned back. So let's discourage our friends, our neighbors, our family members from embarking on what is otherwise an extremely dangerous journey. Quickly put a button. Okay. Do you have any plans? To visit the border I, at some point you know I, we are going to the border we've been to the border so you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border we've been to the border we've been to the border you haven't been to the border I, and i haven't been to europe and I, I mean i don't i don't understand the point that you're making i'm not discounting the importance of the border well i, I mentioned I, it because even I, I know republicans have certainly come at you on this but democratic congressman Quayar as a border district has said to the, you and the president, come, you need, I care you need about, to see this. Listen, I care about what's happening at the border. I'm in Guatemala because my focus is dealing with the root causes of migration. There may be uh, some who think that that is not important, but it is my firm belief that if we care about what's happening at the border, we better care about the root causes and address them. And so that's what I'm doing. I've said I'm going to go to the border. And I, when are you going to the border, the Vice President? The administration has asked. I'm not finished. <laughs> I've said I'm going to the border. So uh, Kamala Harris has been getting a lot of drift from both sides. You know, even Meg McCain was on The View today, you know, calling her um, her laugh uncomfortable, even calling her a moron for her answers in response to Lester Holt. And AOC, uh, one of the most powerful people in the Democratic Party, did tweet in response to Kamala Harris saying, do not come to, Gu uh, do not come. People do from Guatemala do not come to the border. She says, this is disappointing to see. First, seeking asylum at any U.S. border is a 100% legal method of arrival. Second, the U.S. spent decades contributing to regime change and destabilization in Latin America. We can't help set someone's house on fire and then blame them for fleeing. <sighs> Girl, we got something in common with this Palestine stuff, all right? So this is what happens when you elect somebody as vice president of the United States that has no type of political experience. This is what happens when the uh, woke people who are just wanting to elect uh, or have someone, you know, in politics because of the color of their skin rather than the political experience that they have. You know, the only thing great she's good at doing is being a, a hypocrite. I actually foresh foreshadowed this 
uh, occurrence to happen when Joe Biden gave her the <laughs> the authority to be in charge of the border when she literally has no experience. I don't care how many ties of people you are uh, with. I don't care about the team of experts you are, you know, electing to be in your position. She is on the grounds of knowledge of Caitlyn Jenner surrounding herself with people in California and not really knowing the just effect of what to really do leadership wise. I understand 95.559910 percent of you guys are Kamala Harris fans, and I understand there's a cult following on Twitter who I often get in get in uh, in fits with and replies with on Twitter because there's a huge cult on the Kamala Harris train. Okay, at this at the same level as Donald Trump. All right, and I don't fawn over politicians. I don't fawn over celebrities, and especially about fawning over politicians, I feel like that needle has shifted to uh, a higher level once uh, Trump became in office. We now look at these politicians as celebrities that they can that I or anybody else, whether you lean left or right, cannot be critical based on facts on what she said. She simply said, do not come to Guatemala, okay? We have a climate change issue here in the United States of America that is transitioning to a Latin American issue, okay? There is an agricultural, there is an economical problem in Latin America where a lot of people who are poor, who are living on the lower level of the socioeconomical status, rely on crops to feed their children. There are limited jobs in Guatemala, okay? And the government there is not so good. There's a high level of drug dealing and human trafficking. And a lot of those people are transitioning themselves the criminals as well here in the United States of America. And so part of the meeting that Kamala Harris had with the with the leader of Guatemala was that the federal law exchange with with these people that that make uh, probably uh, thousands to millions of dollars in, in trafficking, their charge in crime is 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 maximum up to five to six years. And so what the governor of Guatemala was saying that he wants to have those criminals charged to the United States of America because they are essentially on our on the United States of America border. And I could see that as being a justification because, hey, part of your dealings and part of the monetary uh, transactions that you are receiving as a criminal, you are using the United States of America for. So I do agree that these traffickers should be charged here in the United States of America, just like they do in any other country. OK, I can I can possibly be jailed in Palestine. There's a ways where I can be jailed in Palestine, although I am an American citizen for doing something minor like, um, you know, talking back to the Israeli forces. Uh, maybe um, if, if I get hit and I get hit and I hit them back, or, you know, there's going to be criminal actions based on, you know, the nationality of myself. So I agree with the Guatemalan uh leadership when he said that there needs to be charged so you know and he said that you know they're not really seeing eye to eye and i personally feel like that this administration uh messaging towards um towards people coming here to seek asylum has been inconsistent i mean you heard it from jen Psaki, you know saying well there's been a high uh people coming here from latin america because we're opening with open arms well now you're not well now you're telling them do not come and i'm really tired of the kamala harris cult trying to justify what she is saying it doesn't matter if i'm a fan or if, or if i'm not <laughs> or if i'm not a fan i'm going to give you x y and z the truth based on what's going on from sources based based on what's going on on record of what she said towards Guatemala. And again, the United States of America is a problem. Their problems with the climate change, for example, is being transferred into Latin America uh, occupancy. And the United States has the problems with a lot of things. I mean, come on now. $3.8 billion of our tax dollars are funded through the Israeli uh, military. And so, um, Come on now, y'all can do better. Kamala Harris, you need to do better. This is definitely going to hurt you in the future. It's definitely going to um, minimize your rise in a political sphere. And if Joe Biden ends up, God forbid, getting sick, being hospitalized, and then you're trying to run in 2024, 
I, I personally don't feel like you are strong enough to hold this together on your own. You need to be featured with somebody like a Joe Biden or somebody in high political power in order for you to continue this race with the no experience political card that you have. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe, click the bell. Once again, I do have a live stream uh, tonight with Palestinian actress, uh, comedian, writer, Jennifer Jaja at 7 p.m. CST. Please tune in about, you know, her career, about her um, comedic runs. She's sort of like Amanda Seals where she does educate you on um, the information and, and the things that go on in Palestine. So please tune in. And I really appreciate it for your support. Anyways, y'all, deuces. Yay.